guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and on this platform we discuss about design and fashion, luxury and lifestyle, but in a more practical and sensible way every Monday and Thursday. This video is going to be all about my new Celine trapeze bag. So I got this for Christmas. If you have not watched the whole video of everything else, what I got, plus all the rambling, I went on on that video. I will link it here. Feel free to watch it after this one if you get curious. I got this bag to be as my work bag and as I was switching my stuff from my old work bag to the new one, I thought I would just film a quick like first impressions slash what's in my work bag video um, and show you how much this fits but also then get a bit more closer in what this bag is and why I love it so much. Let's, I mean this is not an unboxing, it's not even a reveal because I have already <laughs> revealed this but I still couldn't resist having a unbagging moment with you guys. So uh, this bag I bought from Vestier Collective as a pre-owned bag and it has to be pre-owned because Celine has discontinued the trapeze bag and as you can see from the dust bag it is spelled with the old Celine way so this is definitely not a new one and it shows the wear but let's have a look the dust bag is quite big <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Here is my Celine trapeze bag. This is in the medium size uh, with kind of like a grayish beige, um, cold beige leather and navy as the darker one with super, super, super buttery soft leather. It feels like I would say calf leather most likely, but it's super soft. And then the trapeze shape comes with these wings that are from suede, also navy. And I'm gonna roll now some close-ups from this bag while I ramble on. So this bag is discontinued. I think it was already maybe 2016 or 18 or might even be prior to that when this bag was discontinued and I loved it then. I felt that it could be seen everywhere. Pretty much the same as happened with the Celine, I think, luggage tote. Uh, at one point that was also quite popular, but now it's more like um, calmed down a bit, but it's still possible to see them out there. But I think the great thing about Celine, old or new, is that they have very, very understated branding and very timeless bags. Super good quality. They are 100% leather. This is also leather lined, uh, as you can see from the close-ups. And I just, I had dreamed of owning this bag for such a long time, but I think it was just in the recent years when I was also looking at the Celine belt bag because I love that bag a lot and um, these are quite similar in shape I would say uh, but also in functionality and then I just kind of I've been so drawn to this one and I, as I mentioned I got this particular bag for Christmas which I am super, super grateful for. And um, I am adult enough to admit that I did myself hunt this down from Vestier Collectives. As I got this from my mom, I didn't really put her to <laughs> scroll down all the pre-owned sites and look for this. I was quite comfortable <laughs> doing that myself. And I cannot believe the price point that, um, we managed to get this. So as a new, when this was sold in the boutiques, I think the price was around 1,400, 1,600, as Celine bags tend to be quite expensive. 
Uh, well, I think it's okay. They are 100% leather and at least like this one, it's, it's big. It has a lot of material, but I think with trapeze bags, as you can see also from this one, like this looks used, right? And I am completely okay with it. But with trapeze bags, they do look like tired quite quickly. Um, so the prices are quite excellent on the pre-owned market if this is at, at all like intriguing. But I was patient. I was looking through all the different trapeze bags on pre-owned sites. And um, I noticed that people tend to ask maybe a bit more, but then when uh, just kind of a tip if you're looking for something from pre-owned sites go and have a look at the prices that they're actually being sold so then you know what you should be expecting to pay for them but i just saw that people were asking quite a lot more than i was willing to to put my mom's money <laughs> onto this bag because i knew that it was possible to get it with a better price so I found this one and I fell absolutely in love with the color combination of this, like dark navy is one of my absolute favorite colors. I, I hope I had more bags in this color, to be honest. I have one dark blue bag, my Lady Dior bag, which I love and I definitely would be open for more. But I did love this combination and with trapeze bags, I would say that the black one is the most popular as with all bags. But with this one, because it is um, basically two tone, but maybe even three tone because this is suede and it's a bit different shade of blue. So I managed to get this with 260 euros or 280 euros. And mm, I'm so happy. Oh, oh my God, I have been rambling once again. So just if you are at all interested in Selena bags that are not like the hyped ones right now, it is possible to score with amazing deals. But anyway, so I'm just gonna try to rewind a bit of my enthusiasm to talk about this bag. So, um, I wanted this to be my work bag. I love this as a work bag because I the shape is is classic yet different enough. Oh, I just can't stop touching the bag. As you maybe can notice, I'm just like way too much all over the place with this one. Um, so I loved the shape, the look, and I'm kind of like, I don't want to have two branded bags for work but I'm still like designer bag lover, so I don't mind at all to have a designer bag, but I just don't want it to scream designer bag, at least from like a mile away. So th this is perfect. And my criteria obviously is that it needs to be fit a laptop. So the next portion is gonna be us looking at what's in my work bag. So how do I fill this up? when I go to the office, what do I carry and how to how do I utilize the amazingness of the Celine trapeze. So I have now filled this bag up. You might notice that it's a bit more heavy than it was <laughs> in my previous clip. So this is how I have now used it at work. So there is a back pocket which is so generously big and I tend to have my phone in there so an iPhone 11 if you want to have some some size measurements over there so my phone office keys so easy access to the keys to the office and my airpods so kind of those things that I need might need like quickly easy access to. Then we can go to the front side. So I do not keep the zipper closed. I think that this is security enough. So opening the flap and then the twist. And this is what it looks like. I'll just put it down on my lap. So 
so we can have a look see so i have my large kirigami pouch oh, pink where i keep my keys and my wallet so this is an easy way for me to kind of <clears throat> know where they are that they are not just like lying around in the bag but this and then I can just grab this if I need to go quickly to do some errands or whatever. Then I have my laptop, which is a MacBook Pro 13 inch. So um, I think it would fit nicer without this sleeve because this sleeve is for, I think, 15 inch or I don't know, it's definitely bigger than what my laptop is but this fits well then i have my my glasses in here i do need them sometimes at work an adapter i definitely could keep it also in here but i guess i've been in a hurry to just put them in the bag my charger <laughs> for the laptop I probably should have some kind of way to um store this better and then I have my Louis Vuitton mini pochettes, where I have like hand creams and lip balms, perfumes, etc. Hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer wipes, all of that. So this is kind of my beauty case. And then that is empty. This is the original like paper work that came with the bag which is quite nice. Um, I have them in the in the pocket over there so I don't lose them. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's basically it. These plus some adapter and cords in the main compartment and then in the zipper pocket like phone, office keys and AirPods. So I think what I'm missing is feet. Always it would be good to have feet in the bag but it doesn't have them so what can i do nothing um this is quite heavy <laughs> and i am like truly honestly concerned a bit for how much weight these can carry but i did watch some videos of this bag before purchasing it where people used it for work and carried their laptop and there weren't any issues with how well these would hold. So I'm optimistic, we'll see. I still have my old work bag, a vintage Balenciaga bag, which I do want to kind of switch now and then. Uh, so I'm not like, this is gonna have some rest at some point. But I'm just so, so, so excited to have this bag finally, which has such an amazing price point and Oh, this is so beautiful and it still smells, it has the leather scent of, of these bags and I'm just like, I'm so, so, so excited to finally have my Celine Trapeze bag. That was it. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.